whether uh, which is which. What will you? Uh, what What will be your answer? Suppose uh, uh, Muhammad is in the house. So if I tell you Aina Muhammadun, what will be your answer? Muhammadun fil baiti. So you see, in the second sentence, Muhammad came as a muftida. So in the first sentence, it is also muftida. So these are the, some of the things we will learn in book three. Huh? But again, if I tell you Aina Muhammadun, and once you know Aina is a zarf, zarf can never be muftida. Jar majur cannot be muftida. You see, they can only be khabar. Or you turn it around. You say Muhammadun, muftida. Aina, then it is khabar. Huh? Are you with me? But we don't want to go into that detail now. It is not necessary. Huh? Not at all necessary. Because when you come back to, when we come back to book uh, 3, lesson number 10, you know what is lesson number 10? Muptada and Khabar. We will be doing again Muptada and Khabar in detail. But brothers and sisters, having known all these things, will make that lesson halwa puri. Because you know already all, most of the things. And that lesson will be in detail. What kinds of umptazar are there? What kinds of khabar are there? But we are already building ourselves. Uh, we are already putting our foundation. So we will be strong by the time we reach there. So that is why I request you not to be concerned about analyzing questions. Wait till we come to book three, inshallah. After that, you will analyze everything. Inshallah. Okay. Who are maridun? Very easy. Who are maridun? Muftada khabar. Who are al-ana fil mustashfa? Who are again muftada? What is al-ana? Zarf. And fil mustashfa? Jar majur shibu jumla khabar. Fine. Shafahullahu. <clears throat> now I, I want you just to know this. <coughs> Shafahul. Shafa is a verb. So it cannot be mudaf mudaf. So I don't want to go in detail. We will go in. Very soon, inshallah. Shafa is a verb. Look at shafa. Huh? Shafa is a verb. And file is always marfu. So where is the file? <coughs> shafa Allah. Huh? Shafa Allah. Are you with me? Sister Arifa? What is shafa? A verb. Huh? Huh? And then, where is the file? Allahu. Look, this kind of a damir, huh? brothers and sisters, which damir? Hu, huma hum, ha, huma hunna, ka, kuma kum, ki, kuma kunna, ya mutakalam, and na. These are damir. But remember, they are not marfu. Huh? These damir we used as mudafilehi. So mudafilehi is majroor. We use as ism majroor. For the file, it has to be marfu. So where is the file marfu? Allahu. This is not marfu, brother. When you say kitabuhu, what is who? Mudafilahi. Mudafilahi majroor. Sahi? Okay? Are you with me, brother? We are going to learn. Okay, but I just wanted to say shafa, hu, Allahu. And see here, there is an alif maksura. And when you add Damir to it, uh, then you change the form to Okay? And then you put here. Okay, I write another syntax. Where is the file? Allahu. What is the verb? Jaza. What kind of a verb is this? It will be written like this. Huh? And then plus 
ha. and then plus Allah. But I think I will tell you, brother. In the past, in the in the last few days, we have emphasized. Are you listening? Just listen if you can understand and keep it in your mind. Alhamdulillah. Otherwise, don't worry. But this is very important. Comes in lesson number five in book two. We learn that when the pronoun is attached to the noun, the result is mudaf, mudafili. When the pronoun is attached to the preposition, the result is jarun or majrun. When the pronoun is attached to the zarf, the result is zarf and mudafile. When the pronoun is attached to the verb, which pronoun? Who, huma, whom, ha, huma. Remember those pronouns. Huh? Who, huma, whom, ha, huma, hunna, ka, kuma, kum, ki, kuma, kunna, ya, mutakallam, and na. When these are attached to the verb, what are they? Objects. What are they? Bafulun bihi. We call it bafulun bihi. I just said it. If you remember it, alhamdulillah. If you don't remember, don't worry. Huh? So what is who doing here? It is mafulun bihi. What is ka doing here? Is mafulun bihi. But this is what we are going to learn in book two. Brother. I will not... Uh, I will ask you not to be concerned. Not to be concerned. Huh? It is coming in book two, inshallah. Huh? Because see, Dr. Abdul Rahim has a vision. And in his planning, in book one, there is no mafulun bihi. It will come in book two. Inshallah. Fine, brother. Man hadihil tiflatul lati ma'akum. Huh? Man, put a question mark there at the end, brothers and sisters. Man hadihil tiflatul lati ma'akum. How will you translate? Child, who is with you? Who is with you? Okay. Huh? Who is this child, female child, who is with you? What is the answer? Ahduhum. Remember, ahduhum, ahduhum, one of them. One of them. One of, what is Ahduhum? Mudaf. Mudaf ilayhi. Fine. Hiya ukhtuna. What is it? Hiya ukhtuna. She is our sister. So brother, ukhtuna. What is this combination? Mudaf, mudaf ilayhi. Huh? So Hiya is Mubtada. Where is our khabar? Ukhtu. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudaf ilayhi. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Now Hamid says, Masmuha. What is her name? Okay, what is the name? Ismuha 